Hello again guys, welcome to the GeoWorks channel, my name is Mike and on this episode I'm going to be playing the Premium Sport Lounge Race 2 on Gran Turismo Sport and um, I've just had a go at it with the Ferrari, the green Ferrari you can see at the top, the 458 Italia. Um, I really don't like that car at all and I've used it on a few races and it's just really it's just rubbish <laughs> to be put it bluntly so I've um, I did just make a video on it uh, which I was not ever gonna win the race and I've got golds across all the other ones um, by using the Lamborghini Aventador so um, just show you quickly the cars I've got available for that particular race uh, of which this is the Aventador I have so I'm going to select that and I'm going to try again. So just while we're waiting, uh, at GeoWorks UK, if you want to follow me on Twitter, um, you can see my schedules, when I'm going to be online, what races or what games and races I'm going to play, if it's Gran Turismo. Uh, I've been playing Doom quite a lot as well at the moment. There's um, a lot of videos on my channel currently showing you all the other things. And just as a very, very quick plug, the um, the one of the videos is a competition. I'm trying to get to 50 subscribers, and once I get to 50, I'm going to pick one of you at random, and one of you, the one I pick, will win a game of your choice. So it's console, PC, whatever you want. Um, I'll contact you. I'm not going to ask for money. You know, you don't need to give me an email address. I'm not going to spam you with anything. Uh, you'll just win a game just for um, being part of the channel. As a, as a thank you so uh, hit subscribe there's nothing to lose and you could win a game alright so let's try this track again then with this Lamborghini I do prefer it and uh, let's see if I can actually improve on the previous attempt okay so better to handle this car than the Ferrari. I don't know if any of you guys who, who are watching have tried the 458. Um, if it's an option to buy it, don't bother. Um, I think I was giving it as a gift car as part of my daily workouts. Yeah, don't buy it if you are thinking of buying it. Invest in something else in the same group. So 58 seconds off the, uh, sorry, 53 seconds off the lead. I need glasses, I think. Yeah, with that 458, I was straight in the gravel on that straight every time there. It just, what, it just, it locks its brakes and throws you into the barriers. That was me going a bit wide. And again. much tidier car to drive grips well nice acceleration good braking so let's go to the in car and have a look very nice great display I need to break, I need to break. That's because I changed the view there. I wasn't focusing. Okay, so let's concentrate a bit more. 44 seconds off the lead. Which is way better than I'd done in four or five laps on the previous attempt in that Ferrari. Okay, 10th place. 
Where is Martin Brundle to comment when you need him, eh? I'm sure he wouldn't be very complimentary on my driving style anyway, so probably best he doesn't. section there. 37 seconds off the lead and I've improved my time in that sector. Ay, 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 ay. I should have braked a bit earlier there. That's good, he's gone wide. Yeah, one thing I was mentioning when I tried to record the Ferrari version of this track was about the AI cars. The, the um, part of the sport mode on this game is you have to go through a thing where it tells you to be gentlemanly and not collide into people and just you know be respectful of other drivers which is fine when you're playing online with real people but these AI cars are terrible at actually going into you and spinning you and all kinds of things there was one of the races I was doing which is on this channel that I was in second place and the AI car behind me nudged me at the back at the side and made me do umpteen numbers of 360 spins and that was me done yeah there you go see something like that I know he probably outbraked himself there but the conduct of the AI cars could definitely be improved Whoa, overspeed it there. Losing my line a little bit. But again, improve the time. I think this is a 458 Italia here, possibly. Or is it a Lambo? I think it's a Lambo. Yeah, it's a Lambo. Another Aventador, I think. Fifth place. Whoa, that was cool seeing that open up. So I'm going to look at the in car, trying to, to change it back again. Before the braking zone. Yes, just about. If you come off the brake a little bit, let the engine talk. Take it. You can rescue those corners sometimes. Okay, fourth place. Six laps to go. Eleven seconds off the lead. there coming out of that corner. That's a little tricky technical section. 
very easy to lose the back end of that. That's a Veyron, I think. With its spoiler coming up for it, it's braking. it on the grass there and here he comes coming back at me must have got a thousand horsepower or something ridiculous that real thing has I'm not sure whether the AI car has that This is his first place man. Unless he's a back marker. No, he's not. He's 1.2, so that'll be him. Okay. So, take it easy. We can have him in a sec. Carefully doesn't spin me. sector time as well, that's good. Overtaking doesn't necessarily give you a uh, faster time. I was being a bit cautious with that guy then. Yeah, sometimes a little bit easy just to not accelerate rather than use the brake when you go through some of those corners so brake in a straight line turn in and here we go back out to the right look for the marker on the cone brake and turn in Down on time though. Last lap was my fastest. Accelerate out the corner. Fabulous. Okay. So six seconds ahead oh, that's a long right hander got to wait for the power there on that one much better choice to change to this car to get another gold uh, which means I've completed the premium sports lounge missions should be win number 72 for me in my career on this game anyway it's a real shame though I have PlayStation 3 with Gran Turismo six I think it is I've got five as well and uh, there was another one they brought out it's like an interim one I can't remember what it's called you play them all and you buy all the cars and you get all the progress and then they either bring another one out or they change the console and you sort of start again so I still have the PlayStation 3 with all my cars and I guess one day it might be worth firing them up, but you can't stream them. Well, I'm not quite sure if there is another way. There probably is another way. Come on. 
There we go. But yeah, I'm quite glad that they do the updates on this one. Because this it keeps this game really fresh. With the new tracks, new cars, there's so many more things they could do with it with all the, the, the weather conditions. There's no raining tracks at the moment. There's no, you know, like overnight, there's, I mean, there's late night ones, but there's not really, you know, like proper dark, pitch dark. Because I'm chatting, I'm not focusing. But anyway, it's all room for improvement, and I'm really glad there's anybody who's listening from the development team, <laughs> which will be highly unlikely, I'm sure. You're doing a great job so far. Keep up the good work. Okay, so 12 seconds ahead. A few more laps to do, and then we'll take the victory. And hopefully, we'll get a daily workout car. So if you're interested in seeing that, either skip to the end if you're on the replay, or bear with me if you're on the live stream. And I will get through this as quick as I can. Tweet me at GeoWorks UK. If you follow me there, you can get all the live schedules, what the games are playing and so on. And another quick reminder about the competition. All you need to do is subscribe. Nothing more sinister or difficult than that. I'm not going to ask you for money or spam you with emails or do anything like that. Just try and get some subscribers. And one of you once I hit 50 we'll win a game game of your choice whatever it happens to be just depends on when I get to 50 as to what game is going to be out that's popular you can have that one if you want console or PC uh, you know Nintendo Wii U if you prefer I don't know whatever is your game of your choice is you're very welcome to have it, just as a thank you for subscribing and being part of my journey. Very new channel so far, but getting uh, getting some you know interesting uh, statistics on the viewing. It's good. To get past the 50 subscribers, I will do a different competition to get to 100. So, currently, this is November 2018. If you're watching one of these videos in the future and I'm already past 50 subscribers, then keep a, a lookout for how many there are and whatever the current video is to see what competitions I've got going. to the end 17 and a half seconds ahead last lap was the fastest lap 2 minutes 10 
glad that was a runoff area, not gravel. There's one of the tracks which has got some gravel there. I think it's Barcelona, actually. And it's a right ball ache to want of a better expression to get out of it. I've lost races by just putting a wheel in the wrong place, ending up in gravel, and then the next five performance cars drive straight past you. seconds ahead oh too much speed there not the most exciting track I think it's a made up one They, um, they are doing a few more real tracks and hopefully Silverstone will be on here at some point. But near where I live is a race sim place that you can go to and the guy there told me that Silverstone are a bit funny about who uses their track in gaming because they are like one of these simulator places that is very similar to the F1 sim where you get three screens around you, pedals, uh, you know, the whole kind of proper setup. Uh, it's called Simply Race if you uh, want to look online at them. But they said that Silverstone, which is fairly near where I live, uh, won't allow the AI track to be used at the current time so it'd be nice if they put that on at some point but Gran Turismo is definitely added in a few new ones uh, Suzuka Barcelona uh, the Red Bull Ring is all recent additions that are all actual F1 tracks or at least real racing tracks got Brands Hatch as well uh, Inter Lagos is a good one to use uh, again another F1 track oh too much speed too much speed there oh, ah. okay well, we're nearly finished so 24 and a half seconds up so we can afford a little bit of, of a gravel experience you definitely feel the tires are different though once you've been in the gravel as you as you should do there's another little touch that the game developers have put in. Just to make it a bit more realistic. Okay, so just uh, hold on a sec guys, if you are watching the live stream, I'm going to just go and find out what the daily car is, because I think I've done enough miles now. As, as he uh, wins the race. And Maggiore. So we're just going to come out of this level and um, all gold in premium sports lounge. Let's come out of this. 72 wins and the workout car. Excellent. Mm, Corvette, is it? Dodge Viper. Okay. Very nice. 
it's probably a dog to handle in corners as most American muscle cars are it's just straight lines in America isn't it they don't have corners there I think <laughs> alright guys thanks very much for tuning in on this one don't forget to like subscribe win that game tweet me at geoworks UK I'll catch you on the next one